Yes, sir. Or can you make me host? Yes, thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are presenting the seminar on importance of traditional games. So first of all, I will welcome our respected principal, sir, Mr. George P.S., principal of the Green Finger School of Luz. I welcome Aspadal Public School Vice Principal and Ideas Coordinator, Biva Ma'am, and their students and their staff. After that, I welcome all our eight standard students. We are in the sixth activity of seminar on importance of traditional games under the British Council Ideas Project. So first of all, I wish you very happy new year to all our students and all the Aspadal Public School fraternity. So today we will start our seminar. So I request our student Master Ritesh Veer to start the seminar. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I have to wish you a very happy new year. In this activity and in. Mm. <coughs> so, under the British Council Ideas Project, the Green Finger School Akluj, Solapur, Maharashtra, India, in collaboration with Asphodel Public School, Goshwar Mark, Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, in this seminar, we are going to talk about importance of traditional games. What are, first of all, we'll see what are indigenous games. Indigenous games are recreational activities that are originated from a particular cultural group, community, or people. These games are different from your mainstream sports, which are regulated by international federations and have fixed rules. These sports include soccer, rugby, cricket, and the Olympics. They have no code, have differences. This was the short information about indigenous games. Under this British Council, I fold the glory of indigenous games. So our school has divided. Uh, selected certain groups and the countries, particular countries, and a certain game from one country. India, that is Kancha, Nepal, Bakchal, Australia, Kai, New Zealand, Poirakau, South Africa, Diket. Now, I request my friend Sujal to continue the further presentation. Thank you, Ritesh, for handing over the presentation. My name is Sujal Sandeep Manrej from GFS School of Clues. Uh, today's topic is what is the importance of indigenous games. So it finds its importance in following sectors of people's life. First, enhancement of teamwork, behavioral change. Third, discipline. Fourth, attachment to their traditional beliefs. Fifth, fit physical fitness. For, first point, enhancement of teamwork. By playing such games, people actually cooperate with adults and each other. Enhancement of teamwork finds its ability to work in the team and achieving skills which helps a person in developing in every field of life. It creates a friendly environment between friends and all the co-players. Second one, behavioral change. In its development, social behavior is often associated with the role of sport, which is one of the factors that shape one's character. Research states that sports among adolescents is the main key in the context of character development for the various reasons, including the advantages the automatically exist in sports, namely in building social relationships with peers and its potential. To support character development, since having a good behavior, especially social behavior in youth, becomes a basis of optimal human development in social life. Third, playing is an activity where children demonstrate their extraordinary abilities in exploring, imagining, and making decisions. Game is described as children, which is very fun for them. 
one one type of game that can stimulate child development that can, that includes cognitive language social emotional religious and moral values physical motor is a traditional game every person possesses some good as well as poor discipline but playing traditional and outdoor games will help and enhance in developing their character and discipline the person will also become an ideal person by following good and proper discipline fourth point attachment to their traditional beliefs when a person is playing a certain game he gets totally attached to the game and develops his great respect to his culture and traditional beliefs while playing such type of games they will get to know more about their traditional games which are played since it is the true information about the certain games will encourage them as well as others to play and know about the game the game will to enhance their knowledge and boost their information about past fifth point physical fitness another side traditional games as physical activity or active playing can give benefit to physical health that is increase heart rate oxygen consumption and blood pressure all of the benefits of traditional games mentioned are not only for phys- psychological health but also for physical health for children the play is considered to have many beneficial on the de- beneficial effects on the development of children's emotional health the play is significant part of child and referred to as a childhood for achieving optimal development play in children is considered important in achieving the development of its mental health so the play is a type of therapy in children's called play therapy now i would like to hand over the presentation to ms harshad shind thank, thank you sir for handing me this precious opportunity myself harshad shind from green finger school first i would like to tell impact of traditional games indigenous games are very important part of people's heritage and culture they preserve age old traditions and stories of the people group indigenous games have an origin which is the story behind the invent inventation of particular activity or game particular activity or game uh, information and knowledge preserving and the information and knowledge about traditional games is important for generation to come it is mandatory to initiate measure to preserve the traditional games in the country such as including the games in the curriculum in the basic education system of the country next why are traditional games important the traditional sport and games contribute to life of mutual understanding and peaceful behavior among different culture and social group communities and na- nations they are means of their identity the different native culture in the world have brought out a diversity of traditional games and sports it is essential for human being to live a happy life to live a happy life it is necessary to be healthy a healthy mind in a healthy body is essential and to live a healthy life a person must be physically and mentally fit games play a crucial role in the life of human being to keep them healthy and happy both indoor and outdoor games help people in living happy life thank you thank you so much thank you very much all uh, students thank you very much uh, I, i have a small questions to the audience now uh, makaran sir can you connect anyone from the audience side there to the camera is it possible to connect there sir any idea who is there in the hall makaran sir can you connect anybody mr makaran sir unmute yes sir uh, makran sir yes sir uh, who is on the mic om bhosle okay uh 
I'll ask a question. You can call anyone to answer this standing in front of the camera. Okay. Yes, sir. What are traditional games? What you understood from this uh, uh, presentation? Call roll number five. Krishna. Traditional games are the games which are played by a day. Station people such as Bhakti and Bhakti was the game, one of the games which was played by shepherds while they were taking their trip uh, to the hill station. And the traditional games are also known as indigenous games. And some of the games are like this that teaches many of the techniques and many of this, they are focused on the English. Okay, very good. Uh, can you call roll number uh, 20 on the camera? Remove the mask. Okay, what entertainment you get from playing? traditional games what are the benefits of playing traditional games I mean, the benefits are like uh, if we uh, learn this game uh, we can uh, enjoy this game uh, traditional games because uh, it was found our ancestors and uh, old people and uh, while if we learn this game we can enjoy these uh, traditional games. Uh, and there is uh, many benefits are there. Like you can uh, uh, enjoy, enjoy this game anytime. And uh, some uh, games like uh, then, uh, they don't, uh, uh, don't need any uh, materials or uh, that much things and that much people to play. That's why they are the, uh, we enjoy in author or we can play alone this way. Okay, very good. Thank you. Call roll number 30. Okay, you have played many traditional games as a part of this activity. Which game you liked more? I like the Gaitar again. Why did you like that? Yeah, we are enjoying this game so much. What are yeah. the rules? We have to beat a ball with our... We have to play with punch ball. Then? Ball should not uh, touch the ground. It should be continuously in the air. Okay. Thank you very much. Can you can Ritesh explain that which game you like very much out of all the traditional games which we have done as a part of the British Council Ideas project? Yes, sir. Under this British Council Ideas project, many of the games we played and also enjoyed. And uh, I have uh, the game Poi Rakao. Actually, we have to play with sticks also. And while playing this game, many of the teachers and also all the students have enjoyed this game. In this game, we have to catch a stick and the middle person would say left or right. Then we have to catch the stick. Then while catching the sticks and also uh, going, moving from side to side and uh, also collaboration and coordination with everyone makes us very happy and enjoy enjoyful moment while playing this game. Many other games like uh, like Nagraj told us that Kai game, it, it also has some certain rules like we have to say letters while uh, moving the ball up into the air. Means while saying the letters and coordinating with in air, all our friends and the players uh, gives us a very well experience to play. And uh, many other games like Bakchal. In this game, 
the goat and the tiger their coordination means the two players their means thing which they coordinate with each other is very interesting and both of them their knowledge means they how they react in every situation when goat is catched by the tigers and uh, suppose a tiger is going to kill a goat and in the games this are dicato in this dicato stones are made the stones are uh, actually dig into and uh, ground and we have to play but it seems a little bit difficult but it's very much enjoyable and interesting to play the game one is uh, our kancha means this was played ancient times and this is also played in our present times in our country and in this game marbles are used and while playing this game the the distance covered or the marble is hit by another marble it gets an feeling of enjoyable moment so this were all the games and a description about the game which we played and enjoyed a lot while experience is game games thank you thank you thank you very much amol sir uh, with your experience of conducting this activities you can conclude this session yes thank you sir under this british council ideas project i am very happy to say that this is my experience is very nice first time internationally we are interacting with other countries like nepal and first time we are studying that uh, australia kai taranam became new zealand poi rakao nepal bhagchal and south africa dikato and our india that kancha so these games are indigenous games nowadays everywhere discussion of cricket football hockey that all these basketball all international games nowadays people they are discussing but uh, these indigenous games and traditional games are really the need of uh, time we have to play it we have to tell the students what is the importance of this why we have to play this and all we are experience we already played in our school and that time we so much enjoyed this we teacher also played with the student students also enjoyed lot and now also in the coming traditional week we are playing every class who will play this game and i hope all students will enjoy this and i am very thankful to our principal josh sir to give such a great opportunity to the part one part of this ideas projects interact with internationally other countries and take a great experience of this event thank you all the students of hospital public school all the teachers their bio ma'am ideas coordinator vice principal and our ideas coordinator harshnil ma'am our all the teachers all the eight standard students my colleagues mr umesh shikare makran sir and last but not the least all my students and principal sir thank you thank you very much thank you very much for joining we will we have recorded this and it will be published in this in youtube after a uh, uh, few time uh, thank you very much you can leave the meeting now thank you sir thank you